Hello everyone, welcome to the series of economics in four minutes. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I am going to discuss the idea of cardinal utility and ordinal utility. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on economics, SPSS, R Studio, and econometrics. Let's begin with the idea of utility. So why do we purchase goods and services? Because they provide satisfaction. That means we feel better off after purchasing goods and services. So economists call this satisfaction utility. So utility is the capability of goods and services to satisfy human wants. And we have two approaches to analyze utility. One is cardinal approach and another is ordinal approach. So what is cardinal approach? Cardinal approach is the quantitative approach to measuring utility. So they consider utility as an absolute concept. That means utility can be measured. Utility can be expressed numerically. So economists developed hypothetical unit called utiles and one utile is equivalent to $1. And they assume that utility of money remains constant. So one way to try and put values on goods utility is to see what price consumers are willing to pay for a good. Let's see this example. Suppose we want to uh, pay dollar five hundred for a mobile phone. So we can infer that we get we will get five hundred utiles after purchasing this mobile. So in other words, the value of cardinal utility is related to the price we are willing to pay for a particular commodity. Now, cardinal utility is an important concept in utilitarianism and neoclassical economics. So Jemri Bentham talked about the utility as maximizing pleasure and minimizing pain. Some other economists uh, William Jevons, Walras, Alfred Marshall also developed the concepts of utility and all these concepts are linked to market prices. Now the entire cardinal approach is based on marginal utility analysis propounded by Alfred Marshall. On the other hand, we have ordinal approach. The ordinal approach is associated with J.R. Hicks and R.G.D. Allen. So according to them, utility cannot be measured. Utility cannot be scaled in numbers. It's a psychological phenomenon. And therefore, you cannot give exact numbers to utility. But consumers can give ranks based on utility. And therefore, utility is a relative concept. So the entire idea of ordinal utility is based on indifference curve analysis developed by J.R. Hicks. See this example. Suppose consumer has three choices of mobile phone, Apple, Samsung, and Oppo. Now, suppose a consumer prefers Apple to Samsung to Oppo. So we infer that consumer derives highest utility from Apple, second highest utility from Samsung, and third highest utility from Oppo. But how much utility consumer derives from each phone, that cannot be measured. So you cannot assign numbers to the utility consumer derives from Apple phone, Samsung phone, and Oppo phone. But consumer can give ranks. And therefore, it's a relative concept. So this is the idea of cardinal approach and ordinal approach. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.